What's going on guys? My name is Chris Howe. Today we're gonna to be talking about this thing right here, the Can-Am Riker. Listen to this. Okay, so before I tell you more about the Can-Am Riker, I wanna tell you a little bit about our other vehicle. My 1998 Mercedes-Benz C230, which is kind of on its last legs right now. And to give you some context about how much we love this car, Lizzie, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on the Mercedes? I hate that car. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's so old, nothing works in it, locks us out of it, doesn't start, call CAA to boost it. Once we couldn't get into the trunk, so we had to cut a hole in the back of the car. I had to crawl through it because I'm the smaller one. Anyways, please get rid of it. Thank you. Bye. So as you can see, Lizzie loves the vehicle. So let's go meet the 1998 Mercedes-Benz C230 with all its lovely quirks. And there she is, my 1998 Mercedes-Benz C230. Let's explore. The first thing that Lizzie and I love about this car is the aesthetics, the aesthetics, such as these rust spots. Let me show you. Aesthetic number one. Mm. Aesthetic number two. Oh, aesthetic number three. Ah. So it was funny, I think it was about two years ago, um, my trunk just decided to not open that day. So what we did is we took these seats out, ripped them out of there, then we took an ax to the back of it, cut the top part, and then took some like cutting shears and cut a hole big enough for Lizzie to get through. So then Lizzie was hanging through this little tiny hole inside the compartment there. And then it was just her butt hanging out of there as she's pulling camera gear out of the back and eventually the trunk popped open. All right, so we're gonna play a fun game today. Do the windows go down? Let's see, three, two, one. The windows do not go down. As you can imagine, it makes it very fun to go through drive throughs We either have to open the door or someone has to walk around. So let's get a coffee. Okay, now that you can see that this car is very awkward to have, we have some other fun vehicles to drive. Let's go meet my Can-Am Riker. my Can-Am Riker. It is also known as a motorized tricycle. The reason why I know it's called a motorized tricycle is when you go to get your license that you can actually drive a three-wheeled motorcycle, you have to go to the counter and say, can I please get my motorized tricycle license, please? And then they stamp and they're like, here's your motorized tricycle license. So yes, I also just like saying motorized tricycle. So this is the Can-Am Riker. This is the Rally Edition. It has a 900cc engine. All right, the reason why I absolutely love this thing, it's fully automatic, which means I don't have to worry about a clutch. I actually got my license in less than two days, so it's literally just gas and brake, that easy. There's a certain set of buttons that you have to press to be able to turn this thing on. I'm gonna show you, it's like a little secret passcode, which means it's harder to steal, which is kind of a nice thing, so check this out. Press this button down, press this thing here, turn the handle there, turn the brake off, make sure your foot's on it, then, oh, now we can have some fun. Listen to it. If you go out and you find a little area with like, say like it's a gravel pit or something, you can go fully sideways in rally mode, which is just like. Last thing, you can customize the colors of these bikes. So these panels, boom, 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 right there. You can kind of pick whatever color you want. I went matte black because 
matte black everything. Marquez, I see you, man. All right, that's pretty much everything I love about this bike. We're actually gonna go drive it now, so we're gonna cut to some DJI Osmo action footage because there's a new cookie place in town that just opened up. We're at the cookie shop, let's grab a cookie. All right, before we grab a cookie, one of the funny things about owning a Riker is that you don't have to pay for parking because technically it qualifies as like a motorcycle. So it's always really weird when I just pull up and then just walk away. Now, cookies. Real quick, uh, to help me pick the cookies, I've yet to introduce the editor and videographer that I've had on the channel for the last two months. His name is Lucas. He's been doing an excellent job. Let's meet Lucas. Lucas. Hello. Your job is to help pick the best cookie. I can do that. Do you think you can pick the best cookie for Lizzie? I think so. I'm okay. a cookie connoisseur, so I got this. I'm putting that title, lower thirds, cookie connoisseur. All right. Cookies. Cookies! I am way too excited that there's a cookie place in our area right now. I'm probably gonna be here most weeks. Okay, you've been here for a second. What cookie should we get? We should get definitely a butter tart. Ooh. Definitely a Mars. Definitely a brownie. Uh, <laughs> Snickers looks good and you gotta get the hay girl. What's this one? So this is a Mars cookie. If you crack it open, it will just like fully pull apart with caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so remember when I was talking about rally mode earlier? Final thoughts, final notes on the Can-Am Riker. I've had it for about five months now. A can of gas costs around 20 bucks to go from like empty to full, so it's pretty cheap on gas. Insurance is cheap. If you wanna buy a Can-Am Riker, you can get like the entry level one for like 8,500 bucks, which is like pretty awesome to like have something to rip around the city in. It is very fun on highways. And getting your license is pretty easy. We did our course in like a day. I think you can do it in like a day and a half or less to get a motorized tricycle license or an M2M in Canada. That means you can fully ride these things on the road. Lizzie, I know we're about to go for dinner real quick, but final thoughts, you have a Can-Am Riker as well. I do. What are your final thoughts on the Can-Am Rally Riker. So. Yes. <laughs> so. I really didn't think that I was ever going to ride a motorcycle. I thought it was kind of dangerous because it's a really fast two-wheeled bike. But here's why I like the Can-Am Riker. That's because it's three wheels and it really can't tip over. No, it feels so way safer. It's super solid and it's a really like comfortable riding experience. You yeah. can like kind of lean back while you're driving, but you still feel really cool. Like yeah. you still feel like you're, can I swear? Go for it. You still feel like you're hot shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's Everyone why like looks it. at it like, are you Batman? Like, what is that thing? You're like, it's a Riker. Yes. They're like, I don't know what that means, no, but say cool. You're Batman. Say I'm, you're Batman. I'm Batman. Are you Robin or am I Batman? I'm Batman. You're Robin. No, we're both Batman. <laughs> we're both Batman. No. Oh, let's get the cookies. We've had so many cookies today. Thank you guys very much for watching. 
If you like and subscribe, you'll get this cookie right here. You guys can grab it. You can just hold on to it right there. He's gonna eat it. He's take, lying take to it. all of you. So don't tell them that. They haven't liked and subscribed yet. Hit the bell to be notified for future videos and we'll catch you guys in the next one. A cookie perfectly goes around the lens. Is that actually the difference in color on my body to my face? Looks like carrots. <laughs>